Amy. We begin with breaking news this morning. Three men shot overnight in Richmond. Richmond police say the call came in just before 2 a.m. in Shaco Bottom, not far from the 17th Street Farmers Market. That's where police found one man with a gunshot wound. Then they found another man shot nearby. We're told both men are in critical condition. Then police say a third shooting victim walked himself to the hospital. His injuries are non life threatening. Right now, they're working to determine if those shootings are related. Stay with 8 News here and online as this story develops. One person seriously hurt after this tree crashes onto three homes. This is in Highland Springs along Maple Leaf Avenue. Folks were still sleeping inside when it happened. A tree split in half, hitting two homes on one side and another behind. My aunt, everything fell into her room and she was buried underneath a lot. So try to dig her out and everything to make sure she was going to be all right. But now she's in the hospital and surgery with a cracked skull. I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, insurance is going to help us, but they're kind of taking a while right now. So hopefully by tonight we'll have somewhere to stay. All three of those homes have been condemned. At least 25 people who live at a mobile home park in Richmond aren't able to go home either. Here's a look at the flood water covering cars. It was high enough to push this shed up and onto a fence. The owner of the park says the city deemed the eight units unfit to live in, leaving people there homeless. You know, they become kind of like neighbors. And it's just a terrible thing to watch much people without a whole lot just lose everything. He says this neighborhood hasn't been hit this hard by rain since Gaston in 2004. Forest Hill, Hill Park experiencing severe storms damage from Reedy Creek raging with that storm water. A 200 foot section of the road washed away below the dam. The road is torn apart, exposing broken asphalt. That's not the only damage in the park, though. The heavy rains causing a tree to fall over just inches away from the pub picnic shelter there and debris piling up. A park bench completely covered in leaves and branches. Trails in Forest Hill Park are in bad shape and dangerous to walk through. It's just very unfortunate. You know, uh, Mother Nature is really powerful. Once the area is secured and safe, parks will be asking for volunteers to help pick up litter, logs, and clear those benches. We'll have those details on our website, WRIC.com. And take a look at this mobile home park in Prince George, completely flooded. This is from those storms overnight at Pine Ridge Mobile Home Park. The people who live here telling us it happens every time it rains. If you have any video or pictures of that flooding, send them to 8 News. You can email iReport8 at WRIC.com. Remember to only take a picture or video of flooding if it's safe. Meanwhile, if you have to hit the road and you come upon high waters, don't forget, turn around, don't drown. We caught up with the owner of an auto repair shop who says even just six inches of water, a car's engine will drink it up. If you go into it really fast, the water splashes and makes a wave, that's when it comes back at you, and then that's way it can be sucked in by your car. That can damage your car and even make you stall out. For the latest information on driving in flooded conditions, visit WRIC.com. A man is shot in the neck trying to break into someone's house. This happened yesterday in Goochland. The Goochland Sheriff's Office saying a New Zealand man, Troy Skinner, tried to break into the basement of a home on Steeplechase Parkway. A woman inside told the man she was calling police and that she had a gun. That's when Skinner went up the steps to the deck and broke the glass door up there. After repeated warnings, she shot twice at him. Skinner was med flighted to VCU Medical Center. No word this morning on his condition. Police make three arrests in the shooting death of a man at a car wash. This happened earlier this week in Dinwiddie. Thornell Sledge, Caleb Smith and Janae Short are charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Umar Salam was found dead early Wednesday morning at the car wash that he owned there. These three suspects will be in court on Monday. One of two suspects is in custody this morning after an armed robbery in Chesterfield. Police saying they robbed the beauty zone on Hall Street Road Tuesday afternoon. They say one man was acting as a lookout during the robbery. D Maze Jones is charged with robbery and conspiracy to commit robbery. But this morning, police are still looking for this second man who they say robbed the business. He was caught on surveillance video. 
On the 607 now in your Capital Connection, a move to bring back betting at Colonial Downs. Governor Northam signing a bill to bring back historical horse racing here in the Commonwealth. The track closed back in 2014, but a Chicago-based company recently bought it with plans to reopen. A study released a few months ago estimated that reopening of Colonial Downs could bring $350 million a year to the state. We will turn back now to our storm track.